Hey guys, Black Hills Mommy here. I am here to teach you today to make something that is so incredibly simple. I'm gonna go ahead and call it though, the Mommy Mental Saver Clock. Um, this is something that I actually made our first one about three years ago uh, when our oldest son, who is now seven, he was obviously four at that point. Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna ask you a question here. How often do you hear, is it snack time yet? Is it lunch time yet? Can I have a snack? Is it snack time yet? What are we having for lunch? Can I eat now? I'm hungry. Mom, can I have something? Mom, is it snack time yet? Okay, guys, seriously, that will drive anybody up a, up a wall. And if you're home with your kids, you, know, you hear it that much more. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First thing first, just go get a cheap uh, analog clock. I picked up a couple of these a little while back at Walmart. This one is to go in my five-year-old daughter's room. This one is actually to go in my boys' room because the other one I had already made hangs in our schoolroom, but I have it down here in my in my little crafty cave here that I I brought down to show you guys uh, with it all put together. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this really quick and simple. So first of all, get your clock. Obviously they're not running, that's okay. We're gonna put batteries in them later. Go ahead and get those out of the package. Okay, once you have that out of the package, it's really that simple. Uh, they're not overly packaged. I think I gave under $5 a piece at Walmart for these. Guys, you don't need anything fancy. If you want something fancy, it's up to you. But trust me, you're probably not gonna want something fancy. Okay, next thing you're gonna need is some colored Sharpies. Uh, you can use colored pens, that actually doesn't matter. I do highly recommend though, a total of five different colors. Uh, you can use more if you see a need because guys, this is highly customizable. Okay. So once you have your clock and your colored pens or markers, get a piece of printer paper. Now, what I have done, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. I've already written on here. I have a green arrow, a red arrow, lunch, supper, snack, snack. Okay, green arrow means this is what time is, it's time to get up in the morning. Red arrow means it's bedtime. Because, now my son was the first one I did this with. He drove me up an absolute wall, constantly asking me what time it was. And uh, funny enough, before we even started working on time in school, he already knew how to tell time. And I realized it was also by doing this clock, which is so phenomenal in and of itself. Okay, so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of paper and all of those. Now, let me go ahead and explain these really quick. So I already said that green is up, red is down, and those. The reason that these are color-coded is because until they can read, they need to be able to look at the color of it and just know that that's what it says. So lunch and supper, dinner, whatever you want to call them, uh, each have their own different color. However many snacks you do on average, we, now we do one between breakfast and lunch and one between lunch and dinner. Um, those are the same color because they're both snack times. So that way they know, oh, that's going to be snack. Okay. So whatever you decide to write down, go ahead and do that. I am going to quickly cut these out. Then you want to trim them down to be really close to those letters. You really do not want to have much excess paper on these at all. And you're going to see why here in just a moment. Okay, so there is my little snack. Hopefully that worked. Okay, now you're going to take your clock. First thing you need to do, now the reason I have a green arrow for up is because I had a child who, uh, if I didn't tell them what time they could get up, they would be up at, they'd get up at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, they get up at five o'clock in the morning. There was no rhyme or reason. So I created the up time instead of just bedtime. That way they knew, oh, it's not that time yet. I need to lay down and go back to sleep. Um, so that way if they wake up in the night, they can see that, uh, or in general, you know, it just guarantees me a little bit of peace. Now that's only once they're old enough to listen to that. So you're gonna take your clock, make sure that the face of it is nice and clean, which I'm gonna do really quick to mine. Okay, so I'm back with that. Then you're going to, once you've determined what time you want each thing to be at. Now, if you want to schedule your entire day, especially during this crazy quarantine period, do that. Put down play time, put down school time, put down whatever you need it to be to help your children visualize 
what is needed and expected of them and of you. So that way there's no panic over, well, are we going to have this today? So let me pick up my little snack here. So I'm using a piece of just regular scotch tape. Now, our first snack tends to be at about 930 in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to angle this right about where 930 is because the trick is... Okay, so it's between the nine and the 10 because the trick is when that hour hand points at it, okay? So as soon as that hour hand hits that area, they're gonna be like, oh, it's snack time. And trust me, they're gonna get to the point where they're gonna be like, it's on the corner. So be aware that even right here, they're gonna try to argue, which that's only five minutes early. So if it helps you to visualize where to place it, Go ahead and turn those hands. This is why it's important not to put the batteries in before you start this. So you go ahead and you do that. I'm going to finish putting all these on really quick. But really quick, let me go ahead and show you our old um, clock. Now, this one actually has a heavier uh, glass on it and everything else. Now, obviously, when we made this one three years ago, our oldest son was four. So bedtime being uh, about 8.15... Um, we've extended that a little bit now, seven o'clock. I needed him to stay in bed until seven o'clock and he needed that sleep. It was actually very important because if he didn't, then we had an afternoon meltdowns and it was just horrible. So he would get up at seven for a snack, uh, about nine 30 lunch is just around the, between 11, and 11 30. Now you see how that is positioned right there. So that gets us from 11 to 11 30. And I made sure to always tell him that, well, it's we're still in lunchtime. It's okay. It's just not done yet. So, and then another snack, uh, somewhere around two, and then dinner by 5.30. Uh, and then we would come up around here, and by 8.15, he could look at this clock and know, oh, hey, it's bedtime. So, I really got to the point. He would come and ask me, Mom, is it snack? Oh, I need to go check my clock. Or before he got to that point, he would come and ask me. I'd be like, I don't know. Go look at your clock and find out. And then he started asking me, well, what time is it? And I'd say, well, snack time is at 930 and it's only eight o'clock. Uh, things like that. So it, we got to that point and he really figured that out. So it was really good. So I'm going to hurry up and I'm going to cut all these out. And then I'm going to show you the finished clock for my five-year-old daughter's room. Okay, guys. So there's that. I've got my little scraps here and I've got all my little words and pieces cut out. So now I'm going to grab little pieces of tape. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, if I can get it picked up here, my up arrow. Now this one, while it used to be seven o'clock, and so obviously that old clock is outdated a little bit. Now we set this right about 6.30. Yep, and just press on. The beauty of this, it's done with scotch tape and so it's really easy to take off and change if you ever need to. Now I'll probably have to use some Goo Gone to take the uh, pieces off of the old clock, but that is quite all right. Now guys, before I forget, let me remind you that your red arrow for going down needs to be pointing down. Do not have it pointing up with the green arrow because that, well, could <laughs> really be a disaster for kids who need that schedule.
All right, now my down oh. arrow, let me tilt my camera up here a little bit. My down arrow is kind of between the eight and 8.30. And the reason for that is, that's usually when we're getting ready for bed is between eight and 8.30, but I want them to be in bed by the end of this clock here. Okay guys, so there it is. This is the Mommy Mental Saver clock that is so simple for less than $10. You can eliminate the incessant, is it snack time yet? When's it time to eat? Questions. Now guys, I'm also gonna say that this clock can be phenomenal for um, any kids with a sort of sensory or that visual um, need that like a lot of autistic kids seem to have, kids from a trauma background so that they have a visual of you are being fed, it is okay. Now, I'm not saying withhold food in between those times because if you've taken any trust-based relational or trauma-based training, which hopefully you have if you have kiddos from that background, sorry, I'm moving the camera there, um, hopefully you, you know where to withhold anything, but this will really help give some kids those visuals that they need to say, it's okay, I'm safe. So put what you want on there. In fact, I would love to hear if you add anything else or extra to this. Um, what a fun craft, let your kids help. Now, I did also think about using my Cricut to create these stickers, had truly planned on it, but to be completely honest, it takes a lot of work to pull everything out. It'd be very pretty. Um, but I also got to thinking about the lunch uh, basically the food words, I needed that white background so that the letters popped more because I was afraid that if I put uh, vinyl lettering of any color on there, it's going to be lost in those minute marks. So that was another thought with that. But you guys do it how you want. Uh, if you want to, feel free to tag me, Black Hills Mommy, on Instagram with any pictures of your clocks as well. I would love to see them. In fact, I'm going to take a picture, put this up there and say the same thing on there. I would love to be tagged in that to see what kind of crafts and projects you guys are making. Um, maybe I'll start doing more of this kind of stuff too. So there is my parenting tip, craft how-to, fast, easy, fun for everyone, but mainly for mom. There you go. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.